honestly, for being a front wheel drive car, it handles kind of well as I smack the rear of another Honda NSX. Welcome back guys to another Forza Horizon 4 video and I know it's been a while since I last uploaded. It's been a couple days. It's been a minute, a real long minute. However, I'm back and I'm over here uploading some good content for you guys, hopefully. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this content. If you do, smack that like button. That's a very early smack the like button, but you just just smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. In today's video, I thought I would continue with Fastest Sedan Series. If you guys do not know what this series is about, basically, I take almost every sedan in the game, basically any car that has four doors, and I start racing them against each other, right, to figure out which one is the fastest between any of those sedans. Now, this right here, this is the Kia Stinger. This is four doors, right? But... This car right here in front of me, the Focus RS, is not a sedan, it is a hatchback. Even though it has four doors, that does not count in our uh, fastest sedan series. So, let's head up over here really quick. I'm going to show you what cars actually have in fastest sedan series right now. And these are the cars that still need to be battled out. But, in today's video, we're focused on two different cars. Very different cars, but just for... Just for reference, these are the cars that we have right now. We have a Quadrifoglio, uh, M5, Hellcat, Crown Victoria, Civic, Gen F, GTS, an Infiniti, a Jaguar, a Kia, Maserati, Mercedes AMG, a Nissan, a Porsche, and a Subi, Subaru. Now, today's video is actually going to be focused on the Sentra, the Nissan Sentra, and a Honda Civic, okay? So if you, if you guys really are excited about this battle like I am, smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, tap that bell icon to be notified about future Forza Horizon 4 Fastest Sedan Series content or any other content that like would suit you guys, right? Now, I'm pretty sure this one's front wheel drive, right? Because when I was, yeah it is, good. Because when I was matching these cars up, I made sure that the all-wheel drive cars go with all-wheel drive cars and rear-wheel drive with rear-wheel drive all -wheel, and front-wheel drive with front-wheel drive, right? So I wanted to make sure that the Nissan Sentra and the Honda Civic are both front-wheel drive, which they are, so that's good. Now the way this series works, basically we upgrade the entire internals of the cars, right? So we do give them race tires, we do give them... Uh, I like to put rally suspension, but I feel like since this is, I'm probably still going to put rally suspension on this one, but we still add like weight reduction. We add all the, all the cool stuff, right? Even the, the engine mods we add, we upgrade the stock engine. Basically, we do not change the stock engine. All we do is upgrade the stock engine to its maximum. And then we take it to the abandoned airport and drag race them there so let's come over here to garage upgrades and tuning custom upgrade we need to make sure that this one is running its default settings that way i'm not cheating or anything install making sure that we do not have any like funny business here stock engine and it is front wheel drive perfect right we're not going to add any of the like wings or anything because that we don't need it we do need race tires. Now, I don't want to put drag tires because basically if you put drag tires, your launch is going to be impeccable. And then at the very end, your speed is like somewhat the same, which isn't good. So not going to do that. I'm not going to put wider tires in the rear because it is front wheel drive. So we don't need wider tires in the rear. And we are going to put on uh, width, right? Uh, pff, wheel spacers. I blanked. I absolutely blanked out there. Okay. Come over here. We're going to upgrade all of our tr transmission. I was going to say drivetrain, but same thing. Transmission, drivetrain. And then we're going to head over to our brakes. So let's head over there. There we go. Brakes. Now, the reason I add brakes is because, like, even though we don't need to stop, uh, it reduces weight. Okay. And I'm going to put rally suspension. I am going to throw on anaerobic bars because it does reduce weight. Not a lot, but it does reduce a fair amount. And then we do a stage three weight reduction, which this one subtracts 515 pounds, which is absolutely amazing. Here, 
here's the major part we upgrade the entire engine all of the aspects that this thing does i upgrade it and i'm gonna fast forward through it too in total this thing's putting out 504 horsepower it weighs 2440 pounds and it's front wheel drive so this is gonna be this is gonna be a really good race between these two cars guys so if you guys do enjoy drag races do you enjoy cars in general smack the like button smack that subscribe button hit that bell icon and you will be notified about future car related content all right so let's reset the default upgrades boom install the only reason i do this is to show you guys that i'm not biased or i'm not cheating on anything so i like to start off the entire car starts off fresh on its default settings and then we upgrade it like that and you guys see all the upgrades that way i'm not biased towards one car or anything like that or i'm not cheating so let's confirm that this thing is front wheel drive perfect it is and then we don't need any of the aerodynamic bits because we don't we're going in a straight line so there's really nothing we are going to put on the race tires like i said and we are only going to be upgrading going <laughs> going we are only going to be upgrading the front tire width this thing does not let us uh extend our axle or not our axle it doesn't let us put wheel spacers on which is kind of unfortunate because i love those things but we can do race trans we can do everything else basically except for uh, a few things like wheel spacers let's come over here to brakes and then putting on the max brake and we are going to put rally suspension and the only reason i do this is because i did it on all the other cars so i like to keep it fair even though this one is front wheel drive and rally suspension does pose a lot of lean so when you launch it's gonna like the entire car is gonna do this right like all the weight's gonna shift to the back and you're gonna have little uh traction in the front but i did it on the other one do it on this one too this one takes off 517 horsepower which isn't that bad i'm gonna fast forward through the engine upgrades as well like i did in the other one that way you guys aren't like sitting there for like a minute just watching me upgrade every single component this one's putting out 603 horsepower and we weigh 2451 pounds let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to win do not cheat okay comment down comment down below right now okay as you're watching this part of the video comment down below right now let me know which one you think is going to win and then stay tuned till the end of the video to find out who actually won and see if yours was correct for the people who comment down the the correct car that wins i will leave a like on their your comment probably pin it to the top maybe we'll have to see let's go over to the abandoned airport now i like to drive there that way i get a feel for the car and how the car drives and like this whole like transmission thing that way i know when to shift right so i do it with both cars i'm gonna drive both of them i'm not gonna go too crazy with it though because we don't need to show off before the before the race so let's head over to the abandoned airport now if i remember correctly it should be over here in this direction so yeah how are you guys doing hope you guys are having an exciting day an outstanding day and i hope you guys are staying safe amidst this whole virus outbreak and whole black lives matter situation all all the chaos that's going on in the world hope you guys are staying safe okay that, that's all i have to say i'm I'm done talking about everything that was bothering me and like stuff like that. So I don't want to go into all of that nonsense. So let's just head over there really quick. Yo, this thing, honestly, for being a front wheel drive car, it handles kind of well as I smack the rear of another Honda NSX. All right, we're over here. Oh, shoot. I almost smacked into that one, too. All right, so it stopped raining. It's sort of dry right now, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what the heck this game is doing right now because, like, the ground is still wet, and it's been a while already, so the game just hates me at this point, honestly. Not even... just It just hates me. Okay, so I like to do a burnout before, right? And since this thing is front-wheel drive, it's kind of easy to do a burnout. All you have to do is, like, you can brake torque it if you wanted to. So if you guys don't know how to do this, I'll do it really quick. Hopefully, I don't hit the mic. So... In both pedals clutch and then just release your brake pedal that's it it's not that hard so do a little burnout oh i messed up 
do a little bit of a burnout. There we go. Ooh, beautiful. There you go. Alright, reverse back. So we're lined up, right? We're lined up at the first line in front of the cone. Basically, this is all we got to do. I'm going to shift it into second gear. This, these things are front wheel drive with a lot of horsepower, so there's going to be a lot of wheel spin. So I'm going to brake torque it at about 5,000 RPM should should be fine. One, two, three, four. That's uh, 4,000. 5,000 should be... Come on. Holy shoot. 5,000 RPM right there. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So a lot of wheels spin off the line, just like I said. All right, third gear, kind of spinning a little bit. Fourth gear, 120. It finally catches uh, grip in fourth gear. So fifth gear is going to take us 161.17 miles an hour. All right, guys. So we have a center here. And the Honda Civic ran a 161.17 miles an hour. Kind of insane, not going to lie. For a front-wheel drive car, that is absolutely insane. Um... So they, these things do get a lot of wheel spin off the line, like I said before. And we're going to drive this one to the other side really quick. That way we can get a feel for it, just like I did with the Honda. So this is the Nismo variant of the Sentra, right? This is not the SR Turbo. It's not the regular uh, little Sentra that you guys know and love. This is the Nismo, okay? I've seen a couple of these down the road, like in real life, and they look... Eh, like I mean it's a it's a little it's a tiny compact car right but the ones that I see they actually have like the red trims on the bottom like the skirts and the bumper and the the rear bumper there's like there's some red pieces and it looks cool all right so there's that now just like with the other one we're gonna do a burnout so three two one and burnout oh I messed up here we go burnout okay so not not a lot of more wheel spin but it does it does some power okay let's uh line this thing up just like we did with the other one i don't want to make sh i don't want to cheat okay like i don't cheat on purpose so let's just make sure everything's good there that that's the line okay so we're lined up now we're gonna do the same thing second gear about 5,000 rpm and we're gonna do a like spike. If you guys do not know what a like spike is, basically we count down from three. We go three, two, one, yellow like spike, throw a thumbs up in here, smack that like button to support the video. And uh, just just for fun, all right? It, it, it doesn't have to even be for the video. It can just be for fun. So, doing a boost launch. Uh, hold both pedals down, clutch it, and then release the brake. Really simple stuff, all right? So I'm going to do the, the countdown, and then once I yell out like spike, I'm going to go. Alright, so ready? 3, 2, 1, like spike! Alright, boom. Holy shoot, this thing has a lot more wheel spin than the Civic does. Okay, so third gear all the way. So it catches grip at around mid third gear. And then fourth gear, fifth gear is going to be able to take it. Ooh, I don't think we're going to... 151.7? Really? I honestly thought the Civic was, I mean the, I honestly thought the Sentra was going to take it. Yo, I'm a little bit upset, not going to lie. I'm just a tad upset, not even going to lie. Okay. Oof. So the Civic took it at 161.17 miles an hour. This thing, a whole 10 miles an hour slower. But I mean, to be fair, this thing does only have 500 horsepower. And then the Civic has 100... No, 600 horsepower. The Civic has 600 horsepower for a front wheel drive car. Absolutely insane. So, Civic is going to take it. Let's go and get that car right now. This is going to take it. Honda Civic. Honestly, not a big Honda fan, but I mean, like I said, I don't want to be biased to any car in general or in like particular. Uh, the Honda did take it. Not a big fan of Honda. But the Honda took it. So the Honda is going to be moving on to the next round. I don't know who it's going to be battling it up battling it up against. Because these two cars were the only front wheel drive cars. So I'm going to have to find a way to make it fair. And we'll, we'll have to see what happens next guys. If you guys do want to check out whatever does happen next. Or the next video on this. Or anything related to games, gaming, cars, or GTA or anything like that. Smack that subscribe button. 
Don't forget to smack that bell icon to be reminded of when I do upload a video. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it off for this video, guys. I hope you guys truly did enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day. And I will catch you guys in the next video.